Please, can we get to meet you? My name is Alfonso Ogoson from Spain. Uh, it's a pleasure for us to be, for me to be here because uh, Briar Assembly Church of God is is a church that has, and I really know that uh, is being covered by by, by the Holy Spirit, uh, the power of the Holy Ghost. Yeah? So therefore, we are here to partake of the blessings. That's why we're here. Please, sir, can you tell us where where are you from? And how did you get to meet the bride? Uh, I'm from Spain. I got to meet the bride through the internet because I've seen the marvelous work of God that will be going on here. So I've come to partake of the divine blessing. What would you say you have gained in watching the bride? Well, precisely I've gained a lot because I've seen transformation through the power of the Holy Spirit and uh, very soon we the world will know that really that God really manifests here. Can you give us one of these testimonies? Uh, my one of the, uh, the time I was watching the bride assembly in, in Spain, I see the manifestation of the Holy Spirit through their program, explaining their prosperity uh, service program. I, I was really blessed. So what do you have to say to others who are not here now? Well, to others who are not here, well, as a brother in, in the Lord, I will invite them, currently invite them to be partaker of this blessing because God speaks and God confirms and God manifests here. And uh, I feel that, I also feel that not only that, but true way to salvation, that's what the most important. What has been the atmosphere since you came? The atmosphere has charged with the power of the Holy Ghost and I can see the fire burning a blaze because as many that come here i know that they will never go the same because it's a place of testimony what are your expectations my expectation is that as i can see open heaven already open uh matthew 16 19 says i will give us the keys of the kingdom and yesterday as the man of god uh, ministering i see heaven i saw heaven open yesterday and the descending of keys from the heavenly to the people that are ready to receive them. Those who, are, who have the open heart and sincere heart and open hand, especially the givers, the keys of the kingdom of heaven are poured down and ready to be given to them to unlock the gates of blessings. Well, I'm Charity Ogusan by the grace of God. Ha Ma, where are you from? And how did you get to meet the bride? I'm from Spain. I came to know about the bride through the internet and since I've come to know this bride assembly, I've been enjoying it so I decided to come down to partake of the blessing. What has been your experience in watching the bride TV? Well, since I started watching the bride, bride assembly TV, my life has been transformed. I've come to know the truth because the Bible says we should know the truth and it's only the truth that will set us free. My mode of dressing and everything has changed through the preaching of the word. Because before I used to dress anyhow without even, I call myself a child of God, but I dress like the world. But today, by the grace of God, through the preaching, I've been transformed. Uh, what do you have to say to those who are not here now? Well, I invite them to watch Bright TV and to keep on watching Bright TV. What are your expectations for this program? Well, my expectation is that now that I have come to partake life, I know that my life will never be the same again, by the grace of God. What, can you please tell us your name and where you are coming from? My name is Sister Chinasa John. And where are you coming from? Uh, I came from uh, Spain, but I'm a Nigerian. <laughs> Ma, you are a Nigerian living in Spain. How did you come about the bride? Uh, I came to know bride, bride Assembly through my friend, by name Sister Rosemary. She's, she's the one that told me about the, the website now. I start, I start watching it. So I used to go there and watch the message before they now started live, pro, uh, live broadcasting. How has the message affected your life in one way or the other? So greatly. Especially the one of uh, yet another day. That our sister, sister Nenda, so it really touched me. And <laughs> because when I went there, 
I started putting on trousers. So I was not wearing it here when I, I travel, before I travel, but when I get there, I start wearing it. And when I finished watching that message, that message uh, really moved me into praying because one of our excuses is because of cold. I said, because of cold, I have to wear trousers so that I will not have pneumonia. So, but when I finished that message, I went into fasting and prayer, and that prayer took me three days. So on the third day, God revealed his, 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 his life transforming a revelation. That's what I would call it. Because after that revelation, I came to know that it really is not good for a lady to put on trousers. So as since then, I've not been putting it on until I came back. And it's just I have never catch cold for one day. And God has been so faithful to me. Thank you, Ma. What are your expectations for this camp? <sighs> I want, I want God to, I want, just, I want total liberation, and I want God to touch me spiritually. I want to be more. In, look at the team. He said, putting on the whole armor. So I want. That is really what I want, because when, 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 when a child of God put on the whole armor, he can be able to withstand the ways of the devil. And the devil cannot do all this breeze, all these things that are happening at this end time will not be able to affect you. But when you are empty inside, you cannot be able to, st to stand the, all these plans of the devil. So I want God to equip me and I want financial blessing too.